This is the Devil Dancer, and welcome back to my Minecraft 2, or excuse me, my Mine Fantasy 2, 2.8 Let's Play Tutorial Series. Uh, in case you missed it, I've just done a stream of gathering up resources so that I am able to well move us along in this series uh, i did need to get my next set of tools uh i need to be able to make bronze in order to get my next set of tools that will give me uh level one for my tool level and once we hit Artisanry 10, as you can see, I got five by blooming the uh, stuff that I got. Once we hit 10, I'll be able to unlock iron smithing. Once I do that, that will give us tier tool, tier two tools. With the tier tool, tier two tools, tongue twisters there. Uh, we will be able to mine the redstone and the sulfur and some of the other minerals that are blocking up my mine passageways down there. Uh, the tin and copper and even the coal that I got was from the mountain over there. I climbed all over it looking. And I did find sheep and was able to make a bed. What we will be making... Once we unlock bronze, is we will come in and let's just go down here and look at the forge, the forge tools. We will be making a pickaxe. We'll make an axe and a shovel. I would say I won't worry about the hoe, but I may make one just so everybody can see it. And we will make boron shears because I did find sheep and I don't want to kill them off. So we'll make the shears so that we can just go shear them. And that will let us make our bedroll. That way, while we're out, we'll be able to sleep without carrying a bed and resetting our spawn point. This does not reset your spawn point, or at least it, it shouldn't. As far as I know, it doesn't, and it's not in my uh, multiplayer game that I am playing. But let's get to work here. We do need one copper to do the research. And there is one of two bronze smithing, and there is nothing else we can learn. So let's put one tin, because it's tin and bronze, or tin and copper that make bronze. So therefore it only makes sense that it is tin and copper to research bronze. And we finished the bronze smithing, and there is nothing else to learn from this. Now, the nothing else to learn from it does mean that that can research will go away. When it says that there's nothing else to, or to gain some more experience to learn more or to research more, that means there's more research that uses that item but when it says there's nothing else to learn it will go away in time weirdly enough it does take a while for it to go away i don't quite understand that but what can i say okay well i could sleep to pass the time but let's use the time to prep and get 
what we need um, set up. Oh, and we will be making a bronze knife as well. So let's just go ahead and get those down. I do want to make a bronze needle, but I'm going to take this and show you what a bone needle, how it is made. So to make the bone needle, and let me show it to you here. Let's just get back around, come in here. These are a little bit spread out at times in the book. There's the knife, apron. Uh, we'll be making tongs and hammer and an anvil from bronze. So where is that going to be? But I believe it's going to be in light armor. Not in light armor. of tools. Okay, here's your bone needle. It just takes one bone and it's done by hand. Basically I'm just assuming they splinter it off and take a stone and drill on the shirts or something and drill a hole. But that's all covered by by hand. Um, all you need to know is you just need one bone and you get one bone needle doesn't have a lot of durability you do want to make metal needles as soon as you can but in the meantime it gets you started so let's go ahead and make our bone needle and we will need that later um, we'll actually need that uh, construction a uh, bone needle can be used to make the bedroll, and we do need to shear the sheep to get some wool. And I'll show you how the thread is made from the wool when we get us some wool. So let's go ahead and continue on. Um, I do have that and that. Let's make us some leather real quick. Whoop, not that quick. Don't want to break the... Don't want to make break my uh, tanning rack here. Perfect. Alright, if it breaks this time, no biggie. We'll make an upgraded version when it does break. All right, so let's just put that back down there. And what do we got? And that, that, and hammers. No, we won't need the bone needle right now, but we will do. Definitely need the wood. go. That should give us what we need. Oh, I need the coal. Yep, need the coal. Okay. Now, what we do need to do 
is we need to make crucible. For the stone crucible, it's going to be eight stone. And we're going to need a regular hammer and it's a carpenter's bench. So let's go ahead into it. There we go. The regular hammer. And we hammer together stone into a crucible. Um, don't ask some of the mechanics I don't understand, but it is just a game. Oh, it's eight. So I am going to cook down some more stone because I do need to heat this crucible. In order to heat it, I need to place it on a forge. As when we click here, um, as you can see, there is crucible and a forge. And it comes through and tells you about the crucible's heat source below. And it says here, three bronze is two copper and one tin. Um, and it tells you how to go do it. And then hardcore crafting tells you that you need the ingot mold in order to get your ingots out. Now we do need to make the ingot mold, so let's go ahead and make that. I did gather clay as well. We will make two of them. So that is eight. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the hammer out of our hands and It, they do stack so you can do more than one before you take it out there we go come in here pull those out put those in and let them cook uh, back over to here and just like from when we built our first stone forge right there two on the side one coal in the bottom center and you beat it together with a hammer. All right, so let's go ahead and do this stuff. And we'll check our ingot molds. They are done. Perfect. So let's come out here. Clear this section out. Hold shift and put it on top, and that has it right there. So it was two copper and one tin to make. So we'll come over here to bronze, then we'll verify that my recipe is right, because, now well, I don't know how well things are remembered. Yep, bronze, two copper, one tin. So let's come back in here. wouldn't work because there are two stacked there they have to be singly stacked so that will give me 
three, six, that would give me nine bronze. So what's the first thing that we want to make? Um, let me see, there's three, so let's make, oh no, see I need leather strips so I can't make that. I can't make those. First item I have to make are shears. Once I make my shears and cool them, I can come back and make my other items. And I can make I can make myself a pickaxe, an axe, and a shovel. So first things first. That's just going right in here and get that set up and then uh, two bronze in there. I, see, I can put more in there and make it. It'll be fine. And the bronze doesn't cool off weirdly enough. Once it's in the anvil, it doesn't cool. Ah, one click light. I was having such a hard time. You know, you can see my wet stones or my dry stones of how far down they are in their damage level. And there's the nine bronze. So what we do is we come in here. That's right. have to uh, actually cool them down. Okay. So Let's take the bronze, open this up, put the bronze in. The yeah, sun is going down. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. We'll just run in and sleep real quick. I'm going to wait for this to heat up. It does take a while. Which isn't too bad. I mean, that's that's not that bad with it taking a while to heat. Because that is more realistic. Okay, so we come in here, we take it, put it in there. Let's um, go ahead and sleep. It does want me to make the hammer first. Wow, encrusted. That's interesting. This is artisanry. Why is it giving me... See if we can sleep. Yes, we can. So, let's go ahead and open it and take a look. Advanced tools. So, where are my forged tools? Forging. See if it's in here. Hmm, that is really interesting. Uh, 
Okay. So let's look up the metal hammers in here. There's the metal shears. We can still make it, but see that little green looks like a dot. That would be bigger if we had a level one hammer and a level one um, smith. Or, I'm sorry, anvil. And it's not even going to let me make it in this anymore. Okay. No, no, no. We don't want that. That will burn us. That's bad. Very bad. So many ways bad. Alright, so let me grab those back. Grab this. That's a tier zero metal. That's a tier one. How am I supposed to get? Okay. No biggie. Well, let's go ahead and heat this up. We'll make us uh, copper shears. All right, so two there, one there. There we go. See how big that centerpiece is? Got to try to keep as best you can in there. And there's the shears, throw that in. Now that's a tier zero shears. Now to make a tier one hammer, what do I need? Alright, so that is a stone anvil. Let's get out of stone. Okay, so I can make bronze hammer. I can make bronze tongs, so I'll make both of those. Then in here, okay, I have to make bronze anvil. So you can make the strips in the ta on the tanning rack, but it's actually a little bit safer to do them here, because then your tanning rack doesn't get damaged. There we go. So let's set up for the 
will be a bronze hammer. What do I need for a bronze anvil? One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. So I need a total of seven bronze. That'll take a little while, but that will heat all of that up. And then I can start arranging stuff in there to make the bronze hammer. Now, once I do have the bronze anvil, I will be pulling this one out. And what I'll do is I'll make the bronze anvil and the bronze hammer. those right now because that is workable. Okay. So bang, bang, bang. Oh, this is going to take a few hits, but no biggie. And we'll get these made, and then next episode we will continue making the uh, bronze tools. Okay, so let's go back in. It's supposed to be there. And that's the bronze anvil. So let's get this made. so far uh, until my hammer broke so let's go make another one real quick actually I don't need to I have the bronze hammer there we go it only took a little bit of damage And the anvil is not hot, so let's just pull that anvil up. Put this one down. And there we go. We are able to start working on the tools. And that is about time for this episode. So I will say thank you for coming and watching. I hope you did learn something today. This has been the Devil Dancer, and I will see you next episode. Take care.